All right, taking a look at your Group 2 Vintage Production Grid. One of the happiest little race cars ever to grace the planet here at Road America, the 62A, the Austin Healy Sprite from River Hills, Wisconsin. That is Colin Comer, your qualifying race winner yesterday. When you see the front of that car, you'll understand why it's the happiest little car ever. George F. Baumbach in the number 0, 1960 Porsche 356 out of Lake Bluff, Illinois. That is your front row here at Road America. Scott McQueen is the 106. The 18 is Dan Gaywaler. Robert Van Zelst in the 72. And the 01 of James Jackson. Jackson had a great start yesterday in the qualifying race as well. Nicholas Clements will start on the inside of row number four in that number eight machine. Alongside is the 184 of Alex Amy's in a 1970 Triumph GT6 out of Superior, Wisconsin. Starting ninth is Michael Manser out of Austin, Texas. Starting 10th, the one of Alan Tom in that 1965 Alfa Romeo Julius Super out of Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. David Porter. In the 111, starting 11th in that 1965 Lotus Cortina out of Darien, Connecticut. Campbell Sport, Wisconsin's Chris Candy in the number 34 will start alongside. The next row is the 88 of Damon DeSantis out of Plantation, Florida, 1967 BMW. Alongside is the 162 of Alex Rourke, a 1965 Lotus Salon out of Union Pier, Michigan. New Lenox, Illinois' Tanner Hurst. Is the 118 will start 15th in the 1991 Ford Escort GT. St. Charles, Illinois is the home of Jack Sparks, the number 91, who will start on the outside of row 8. In row 9, it is the 98 of Bill Hart in that 1957 Devon TR3 Triumph out of Carnation, Washington. Plymouth, Minnesota's Eileen Wetzel in the 202. That is another 1966 Austin Healey 3000. In the 19th starting position, that is a 62 Triumph TR4 in Nashua, New Hampshire. David Gott, number 27 of Jason Ostrowski out of Riverside, Illinois, starts alongside. Frank Boucher in the 151, it's a 1965 Porsche 356C out of Greenfield, Wisconsin. The 116, that is Cesar Granados in a 1965 Triumph TR4 out of Duval, Washington. Starting in the 23rd position is Tony Drews in the number 95, a 63 Triumph out of Moline, Illinois. Winnetka, Illinois' Brad Tank in the 101, 1965 MGB. Mequon, Wisconsin's Bob Wagner in the number 50. That is a 1960 Austin Healy 3000 out of Mequon, Wisconsin again. John Frymark out of Rockwall, Texas in the number 14 will start 26th. Inside of the next row is the 317 of Ryan Murphy. That is a 61 Triumph TR4 out of Malone, Wisconsin. Marcus Hoffman in the 141 in the 1962 Lotus Super 7 out of Houston, Texas will start alongside. The 28 is David Amy to the 63 Triumph Spitfire out of Superior, Wisconsin. In the 30th starting position, Jesse Darrow, the 1963 Triumph Spitfire out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Orlando, Florida's Russell McMillan in the 621 will start 31st. Starting 32nd, the 62 of Mike Jackson out of Palm Beach Gardens. The 20. Four is Jerry Barker. He'll start 33rd in the 63 Triumph Herald out of Hesperia, California. The 114 of Philip Gott out of Princeton, Mass. in the 65 Triumph TR4. Spitfire Triumph. Pete Passon, the number 44, will start 35th. Starting 36th is Mark Pladson in the 414. That is the 1964 Morgan for that car. Is from Bloomington, Maryland's Mark Pladson. 113 of John Daniels. That is the 1957 Austin Healy Speedwell Sprite out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Scott Gerklin in the 06. That is the 1969 Porsche 911S Palm Beach Gardens. The 622 Jeff Lombard in the 1962 Austin Healy 3000 Mark II. Lakeville, Minnesota's very own Jeff Lombard. The 622 starts 30. 40th position, 119 of Terry Davis. That is the 69, a 60 Austin Healy Sprite out of Omaha, Nebraska. Waterloo, Iowa's Sean Alexander. The 197 starts 41st. 42nd is the 144 of Alexander Schlesinger. And the 43rd starting position, that is the 46 of Edward Hinza, the 72 Dotson 510. The starting 44 is the 17 of Tim Slater out of West Palm Beach, Florida. The 123 is Joe Braybender out of Stoughton, Wisconsin, and the 65 Volvo. 46 is Bob Clark in the 76. The 43 is Brian Petty, 72 Dotson. 717 is Michael DeWeird. The 71 is Evan Hubachek. The 13 is Brian McEldowney. The 33 is Dan Powell. He'll start 51st. Starting 52nd is the 97 of Brandon Alexander. Starting 53rd, the 86 of Alex Wiley out of Tongagansi, Kansas. In the 54th starting position, the 74 of Brian Brazelton. 146 is Gregory Thompson. The 
the 11B is Tom Reese. The 441 is Karen Henning Jacobson. The 58 starting position is the 181 is Steve Myers. The 59th starting position is the 7 of George Hummer. The 60th starting position is the 10A of Henry Morrison. Dave Riddle in the 10, Kurt Johnson in the 11, Peter Mika in the 47, Will Hart 222, Eric Jacobson in the 81, Chuck Gee, Pat Darrow, Morty Dunst, Brian Hollett, David Brown, Joel Weinberg, and Scott Schmidt. All of the cars that uh, did not have times but uh, are registered in this Group 2 vintage production here at Road America. Thank you for that grid list, Eric. Catch your breath. The largest field of the day. And this is going to be a fun one. Fantastic racing yesterday. And these cars, two by two, following that Elkhart Lake Blue pace car. It's going to be a good race. So many cars. Still coming through Canada Corner as the pace car is rounding 13 and it's about to make go up the hill. On the exit of 14, here for your starting grid, here in Group 2 production at WeatherTech. The International Challenge with Brian Redmond. Both podium celebrations yet to come. Again, this race included four races to go here on our future Sunday. Sunday fun day here at America's National Park for Speed. That silver smiling car of Colin Comer out of River Hills, Wisconsin. Colin's classic automobiles. Leads the field with George F. Balback, the Porsche on the outside. Coming to the start finish stride for the Tyrac.com WeatherTech Starters Bridge. Green flag is out a little bit later of a start here as they race their way down towards turn one. And Balback and Comer side by side going into turn one. Let's see who gets that position. Here comes Ballbach around the outside. And he makes it down into three. Colin Comer yesterday kind of settled into that second spot for about a lap and a half and then kind of started to put the pressure on. Three wide coming down turn three, down that hill. Ball stacks up a little sideways under braking. Looks like one of the... Uh, Dotson's in back. Field now working their way underneath the Sargento Bridge towards turn five. Leaders on the way down the hill. Paul Bach Comer into five. Heavy braking zone. One around gets a good launch there up the hill. Oh, and they're passing. Two cars make the pass here. Is that Paul Bach slow? Under Corvette Bridge, potentially Paul Bach might be off the pace. Take a look as they uh, rise the hill here, and Comer is out front indeed. I think that's Ballbach back. That he gets Ballbach. off. He's, he's pulled off into the grass at turn seven. So George F. Ballbach, that battle for the lead we had yesterday, uh, is he's pulled off into turn seven. I hate to see that from Ballbach. Such a great competitor. Putting the car in the reverse, getting it behind the wall and, and tucking it to a safe position. So we don't need a safety truck out there. And a local yellow goes away as soon as he gets behind the wall. A heads up driving there by George F. Ballback out of Lake Bluff, Illinois. That leaves the door open for Colin Homer. Might be able to take one down again back to back. You see the uh, yellow and white number zero one of James Jackson. Jackson got a great start yesterday in the qualifying race. Looks like he's got a great start here as well. Battling for the top four right now in that 0-1, that bathtub portion. Honestly, I think that's uh, kind of one of my uh, more favorite uh, Porsches. Uh, obviously, the modern stuff is cool, but uh, these bathtub Porsches in this group just look fantastic. You know, they're, always, they're always fast around this track as well. Absolutely. Homer jumps out to about a 10 car length lead over second spot here in turn 14. Again, James Jacobson. James Jackson, rather. James Jackson in the 01. Up to the fourth spot. It is Robert Mansell sitting in second. Nick Clements in the eight. The 01 James Jackson, the 106 of Scott McQueen. And then you've got about a three second gap back to the 184 of Alex Davies and the 111 of David Porter. Six and seven battling uh, there. It's group two production. 
feature race. Without ball back in the picture, this race is completely changed and flipped on its head. It could be anyone's race here back to fifth place. And Colin Comer and George Ballback traded the lead about two or three times in the middle distance of the qualifying race yesterday, which was about five laps. Seven laps the distance here. And Comer pulled on for a feature race Sunday. Colin Comer sets the pace up the hill under the Corvette Bridge, making that left-hander. Danzel's Clements. Jackson McQueen, nose to tail. The blue Porsche 356 to the 72, Robert Van Zelst sitting in the second spot. And this field is massive. So once you see the leaders, you're going to see cars nonstop. needed to stop for a drink of water halfway through that grid, so we know it's uh, <laughs> yeah, we know field. it's a pretty deep field. This is a field where you got to pick two or three different cars to cheer for, just because there's so many. Great racing all the way through the field uh, as well here at Road America. Got a good battle there going through the carousel. Looks like the uh, Ford Escort back half of that group. Leaders now working their way into Kettle Bottoms towards Canada Corner. And Comer putting a little bit of distance between himself and Robert Van Zelst in that blue bathtub Porsche. It looks like Scott McQueen is kind of getting a little bit off pace. Left out to dry there, trying to keep up. Alex Amy with that uh, Triumph GT6. And the Lotus Cortina, David Porter. Was indeed fifth, sixth, and seventh there. And Colin Comer, the happiest little Austin, Ely Sprite. I want to get a good look. Maybe we can uh, use the turn one camera here as, uh, as he comes into, into view. The, uh, the Austin Healy, these sprites just have the... Uh, the, the bug eye, of course, is the, the kind of the nickname, but if you look at that car as he comes in, it just looks like the car is smiling definitely down the straightaway. Definitely smiling. He's smiling right now, ear to ear, just hoping the uh, race stays green. It's Colin Comer starting to check out a little bit here. A 2.5 second advantage last time through as we're working lap three. Two laps complete, seven the distance, five laps to go. And Colin Comer loves seeing this battle behind him. You have Van Zels, Clements, and Jackson fighting here for that second spot. McQueen not able to stay with that group and slowly getting off pace without a partner there to push ahead. It's going to be tough to get back into that group, he's hoping. And here comes a pass at five. Goes to the inside. Van Zels gets a little squirrely on the exit of five. Looks like he ran the rumble strips a little bit on the exit. And Nicholas Clements could not capitalize on that, however. Looked like he spun the tires as well on the exit of five. They go up the hill underneath the Corvette Bridge. Ford's hurry downs now. And that's very early into this race, too. There's five to go, so kind of giving up your strategy there. Now he knows uh, for the next time not to leave that open. Well, you've got to kind of do that at least once or twice. You've got to figure out where, uh, where you've got a strength and, and where you've got a little bit of a deficiency. And right there, uh, Jackson, and uh, it looks like Clements have gotten around Robert Van Zels. Van Zels back to fourth now. Great racing here out of that second place group here. All the way back to under the Speedville Bridge. Great group of cars. There's that Honda Civic and the Ford Escort battle. That is the 91 of Jack Sparks and the 118 of Tanner Hurst racing 12th and 13th in the field. A good look at those cars. Leaders well down the straightaway to Kettle Bottoms, towards Canada Corner. And there is Colin Comer on the exit of 12. Jackson on the third step of the podium. Jackson is a restart and start master. He's made up a couple of spots and a couple of rows on the initial laps. The last two days here at Road America. That's a great start. Again, there was that Civic and Escort battle. Deep in the 
field here. Civic and the escort side by side. Just a little squirrely there at 14. So second place right now, Nicholas Clements, followed by James Jackson. And Zels goes to fourth. So many good battles, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of get you through the field and talk about all of them. We're kind of focusing on the Civic and Escort battle. You don't really uh, see those uh, types of cars here at Road America very often. We get these bathtub Porsches and Austin Healing Sprites, the Triumphs quite frequently, but uh, not often you get a Honda Civic CRX and, uh, and an Escort RS1 tussling out for, for battle. Yeah, that's, group two. yeah, this is actually really fun to watch these two go at it. Looked like uh, one of them just uh, went side off. Side by side? That was the Civic that went off. Uh, no, no, that was the Escort that went wide in turn three. Got off in the rumble strips a little bit. Side by side. Into five. Anyone's game here. A little breaking duel. Into turn five. They're still fighting it out. Civic on driver's right. Looks to the inside. Oh, they oh. made contact off the five. Under the Corvette bridge. Elbows Ch out. Chased him right through to the rumble strip and squeezed him a little bit. And he tried to rejoin, and that uh, cost the escort the spot. And now the Civic pulling away by about four or five car lengths on the exit of turn seven in a hurry down. And that battle is, is simmered a bit now. Group 2 feature race here at Road America, the WeatherTech International Challenge with Brian Redman. Four laps to go. Colin Comer takes the lead after George F. Ballbach had to pull off due to some type of mechanical failure. Colin Comer, number one. Nicholas Clements, James Jackson, Robert Van Zels. Great battles all the way through. Large field here. Colin Comer in the lead. Four laps to go. Got group 10, group 8, and group 7 all yet to come. Group 7 going to be our fastest group of the day. We'll wind up our WeatherTech International Challenge here at Road America. Van Zelst under some pressure now from Scott McQueen, that 106. That 1957 Austin Healy. And Alex Amy's in that triumph. James Jackson making a move. like Van Zelst trying to get by Jackson here and get the position. So Van Zelst back to third. Lotus Cortina of David Porter, currently running eighth just across the stripe as well. Great three-way battle here. That is the third spot of James Jackson, the 72 of Robert Van Zelst, and the 106 of Scott McQueen. That is the three-car battle you're watching right now, that blue, yellow, and red. I believe that's some lap traffic ahead of them right now. I do believe so Colin as well. Colin Comer's checked out. Comer is seven second advantage over Nicholas Clements and a three and a half second from Clements back to Jackson. Is this that same battle? I was thinking that was the Civic again. I was yeah. like, did they get back together? It did look like uh, that could have been the case. There's Colin Comer through uh, seven in the hurry downs. There's Nick Clements. And it looks like Jackson, or the escort, is on pit lane right now. So Jackson has gotten back by his aunt Van Zelst. So James Jackson back to third, Van Zelst fourth, and Scott McQueen in the fifth spot. That three-way tussle for third, fourth, and fifth. Pretty stout. Three to go here on our group two featured race. Jack Sparks now in the battle for 10th and 11th with the 34 Chris Candy out of Campbell Sport. Michael Manson following up in the 103 behind him. Oh, we got a car off driver's right. And that is in a uh, peculiar position on the exit of 12 in Thunder Valley. It's, can't tell if it was a pull off, which it looks like it could very well be. Green 
in the hand of the corner. So that's uh, after the corner. So they uh, waved the green flag saying that the race the track is clear beyond that incident. So turn 12 would be yellow. So a great passing opportunity in the 12 would be a wash. And somebody just went wide in turn five. Colin Coleman continues to lead the way. Nick Clements just across the stripe. Now, which would put this on two to go. So Colin Comer should be getting the white silk next time by. And there is the battle for James Jackson, Robert Van Zels, and Scott McQueen at uh, yellow, blue over red. Scott McQueen might have a shot here. He's been able to catch back up to that pack. We've seen that throughout the whole weekend, that race driver that kind of waits, lurks in the weeds, waits for his opportunity. We'll see if Scott McQueen can take over Van Zels and Jackson. Jackson pull it away in that battle for third. It's now between Van Zels and McQueen. McQueen will try to get the fourth here. Might be off the pace as well. We'll have to see if Pass at five. Van Zels holding the position over McQueen. McQueen went to the outside. Jackson, top of the hill at the Corvette Bridge, and it almost looks like he had uh, not as good of a launch out of five, and Van Zels able to pull right up against the back bumper of that yellow and white Porsche. And the battle continues, two to go here. Battle for the third spot on the podium to shake Brian Redmond's hand. Van Zels around Jackson. Underneath Speedville, so Van Zels back to third. This could be anyone's race here. You see multiple passes by all three of these drivers so far. It happens almost at every corner. Scott McQueen, that 1957 Austin Healy 100-6 out of Minneapolis, there to pick up the pieces behind Van Zels Jackson. He sits in that fifth spot right now. Comer continues to run away. We know where he is. I wouldn't say he's running away and hiding, but he is running away. White Silk going to come out. At Got the another car side. pulling off driver's right. Right by that other car that was pulled over from before. A little puff of smoke out of that one as well. Don't have the number on that vehicle. Colin Comer takes the White Silk in the starter's hand here at Road America. So Colin Comer off. Into almost that might have been seven. Nicholas Clements, Eric, just dropping in the order. I would agree. That is uh, very likely going to be Nick Clements that pulled off to the side. So Van Zelst, James Jackson. So now that battle between McQueen and Jackson becomes ever more this important. This got interesting. Now that is for the bottom step on the podium. Third. Yeah, second that's, and third now is open. Yeah, that's for Van the bottom Zelst, step on the podium. Jackson, McQueen. There. McQueen has a shot at the podium now. Let's go, McQueen. <laughs> Look at some lap traffic, and Jackson kind of stuck to the inside. Down into three here on the final go. Great battle here. For those last two spots on the podium. Group two featured race here, Road America, the WeatherTech International Challenge. Looking for that medal and that handshake with Brian Redmond. Back to that civic battle. Jack Sparks drops back to about the 12th spot that time through with Chris Candy. So David Porter, David Brown, Michael Manzer have moved around. The 91 of Jack Sparks. And we'll see if McQueen can get it done here. So many battles throughout the track. Colin Colbert setting the 
pace, though, after George F. Allbach had to pull off. Great weekend for Colin Kilmer. Try to pick up your leader, Colin Comer, here. I believe that is him at the exit of 12 now. In the Thunder Valley to 13. Underneath the flygrb.com. Austin Straubel, Green Bay Airport sign. They'll make the corner at 14. Come to the attention of the WeatherTech Tyrac.com Starters Bridge. Checkered flag is going to come out for the Collins Classic Automobiles 62A of Colin Comer. And that Austin Healy Sprite, the happiest little race car in the world. And we'll see a very happy Colin Comer in victory lane here from Road America. Robert Van Zels comes home second. James Jackson third. Scott McQueen just couldn't get there. And we'll finish fourth. Alex Amy's will finish in the fifth spot. Peter Mika, by the way, did set the personal best and the fastest lap of the race last time through a 242-901. Mika goes to fifth. And around Amy's there. So Mika does uh, pip Amy set the line. Alex Rourke is seventh. Alan Tom in the alpha. We'll finish eighth. David Porter. David Porter got Alan Tom. They were side by side of the line, too. So David Porter comes to eighth, Alan Tom ninth uh, as well. So Michael Manser, your top ten. Comer, Van Zels, Jackson, provisionally your group two feature podium at America's National Park of Speed. And Victory Lane is open, and there is the Collins Classic Automobile 62A of Colin Comer. Victorious, here's his wife, Canna. The happiest little race car in the world. There it is, Austin Neely Sprite in Victory Lane here on a WeatherTech International Challenge Sunday. A little bit different than the, uh, the TA Mustang for Colin Comer. But a great drive yesterday in the qualifying race. There's Robert Van Zelst in that blue Porsche and uh, James Jackson in the 01. The Roadster and the Coupe. 
Porsches. Porsches was not able to deal with uh, Colin Comer today. Georgia fell back with the mechanical woes to start that race on the exit of turn five. Unfortunate for Georgia fell back. But I tell you what, nobody's going to be happier in the victory lane than that Sprite other than Colin Comer. Let's have a word. Right. It's a great Sunday when you see a Healy on the top step of the podium. Talk to us about the race. Uh, it was a great race. Uh, I was hoping to go a little further with George Valbach, who has, like, I don't know, road rage or something. But uh, he checked out early, so I was just up there having a Sunday drive. Fantastic. Well, you clearly had pace everywhere, but were there certain places on the track that you felt you had more grip or more speed than the rest of the field? Uh, well, the car doesn't have any brakes, so I couldn't slow down anywhere. So I just kept the throttle down, and it felt fast everywhere. Well, you got to go fast to win, so it sounds like brakes don't help anyway. Just well done. Down. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers. And rounding out the podium, we have two Porsches. Talk to us about the race. Well, it was kind of gifted to me with a couple cars dropping out, but still had to work for it. Those guys pushed me, Jamie and uh, the Red and Healy. So it was a good time. Good. Well, you got to be in it to win it, and you were in it, so well got, done. Got to finish in order to fin get place. Yep, absolutely. Congrats. Talk to us about your race. How was it? Oh, it was uh, great. You know, first, thank you. I love rushing with Bob here. He and I have been together all weekend, and, uh, you know, he deserved this one, boy. I was a little sloppy, but thanks to Acuri Engineering, my car ran great. You know, sort of the one in front of me, but what a great weekend. Love Road America, and happy to see Brian Redman again. I saw him a lot of years ago on a podium here, so it's fun to be back. Beautiful. Well, fast cars, beautiful cars. Well done, gentlemen. Congrats. Enjoy it. James Jackson finishing in the third spot. Robert Van Zelst in second. And, of course, Colin Comer in victory lane with that uh, Austin Healy sprite.